Hey, my name is Zoodle and welcome to 10 facts about Mortal Shell you should know because they are super useful to play the game video. Some of them help you to understand the game more and others are just good to know, so let's get started. The shells. So the most important thing in the game are the shells. But what is a shell? It's basically just an armor which protects you. When you start the game you look like this. Orphan of course. But good looking. The shell gives you more HP, armor and a different stamina block. The game has in total 4 shells and all of them can be found within the game, chilling on the ground. If you found the shell, go and interact with it. You don't need a special lever or something like that because the game has no level. Just find the shell and you can use it. All shells have their own look and all have something of their own. The abilities you can skill are different, so are the playstyle. Eridrim for example has a shit ton of HP, but the stamina bar is pretty short. With him you can run into any enemies and slay them without dying. I mean look at this HP bar! Oh, but be careful, if you die you get kicked out of your shell. Then you can run around shellless, which changes your HP and your stamina bar again. Try get back into your shell as fast as possible to be safe. If you get kicked out again, you are dead. I would recommend to find all the shells and test which fits to your playstyle. Weapons and Harden Mortal Shell contains 4 different weapon types and all of them are differently to play. So the main weapon in the game is the Hollowed Sword, which is a normal heavily sword. You will get this weapon throughout the tutorial. The other three can be found in the game on statues. Intact with the book next to the statues and you will get ported to the Falkwater world again. There you have to fight against Harden with this specific weapon. <gasps> oh no, not you again. No! If you are able to defeat him, you will get the weapon and you can use it. To upgrade a weapon, just go to an anvil, which is for example at the Fulgrim Tower, the main hub of the game, with your weapon equipped you want to upgrade. There you can boost your damage with Quenching Acid, which you can find in the world. Make sure to search every corner for the weapon upgrades, it is definitely worth it. Another thing which is important in fights is next to your weapon, the Harden ability. With or without the shell, you can use Harden, yes, uh, like Metal. It protects you from hits and taking damage. Yep, exactly like Metapod. After some seconds of reload time, you can use it again. Janessa. Sister Janessa is not only really cool looking, she's also our safe point in the game. If you get kicked out of your shell and you die, you will get ported back to the last spot you spoke to Janessa or to the point you entered a new area. When you are finally managed to die after 2 minutes because the game kicks your ass, she will give you a tarnished mask. With this mask you can port back to her, but you lose all your tar and glimpse. I will explain this later in the video, all you need to know is that tar and glimpse are equal to the souls in Dark Souls. But Sister Janessa is not only a resurrection machine, you can also skill your shell when you speak to her. First you have to unlock the name of the shell, after that you can see which abilities your shell has and what you need for it. Pointed us to. If you have all abilities with one shell unlocked, Janessa becomes a merchant and you are able to port through the world. Yes, this time without dying. You can just go to Janessa, speak to her and then you can port to a different area in which you found her before. Hmm, that sounds familiar. Tar and Glimpse Tar and Glimpse are both resources you can get by killing enemies or you just can't find them in the world. With Tar and Glimpse you can unlock abilities of your shell or buy things at the merchant. If you lose your shell and die, you will find your Tar at the spot where you died. Ok, we definitely heard about that before. So make sure to go safely back to the spot you died, otherwise you will lose all your Tar if you die on the way to it. Familiar with items A really cool feature the game has is if you find a new item, you have no clue what it does until you use it. Only then it reveals what it does. If you use the same item multiple times, then you will get familiar with the item. It makes it stronger and you can get more out of it. So can a simple mushroom slowly heal you at the beginning, but if you are on max, the mushroom becomes a very important heal item. Consumables respawn A short fact but good to know is that mushrooms are items you can find always at the same places. After you pick it up, it gets a cooldown. When the mushroom is ready and fully grown, you can loot it again. Make sure that you remember the spawn places of the mushrooms, otherwise you see yourself in hordes of enemies without any heal. Resolve and the Spike Resolve is next to your HP and stamina, another thing that changes through your shell. You 
can have up to 4 resolve points. Resolve is important for parrying enemies or for using a special attack like the mechanical spike. The spike is one of the most important weapon tools you can find in Mortal Shell. Once forged into your sword, it becomes the strongest attack you have. With the spike, you have iframes and every single attack from the enemy will just go through you. The damage is very high and the most important part about it, it can stagger every enemy and boss. Cool, right? Parry and bosses. At the beginning of the game, at the Falgrim Tower, you will find a big dude. If you free him of the chain, you get the Tarnished Seal. This is the tool which allows you to parry enemies. If you have no resolve, the parry window is smaller. If you have some, the seal lights up and lets you know when you can parry something. Also, the parry window gets bigger. After a successful parry, you can use a counter attack which gives you HP back. The game has more abilities for the seal to find. To unlock them, you have to kill the main bosses in the game and come back to the big dude. If you want to know more about the bosses, I highly recommend you guys to check out the video from Cosmicborn. He tells you guys which boss is the easiest and which one is the hardest in his own ranking and gives you a few tips on them. Link in the description. The Fog after killing a boss, you might notice something is changed. Every human in the woods is a fucking vampire monster! But the fog gives you something. It reveals not only some super powerful enemies, it also unlocks the frog statues. If the fog is active, you can get an item from each frog. So, how do we get rid of this fog? When you come back and speak to the big dude to unlock a new parry ability, the fog goes away. But it's not gone forever. After defeating the next boss, the fog comes back. If you slayed all bosses but you want to explore the world with the fog again, speak to Tassos. For some glimpse, he brings the fog back and also sends the fog away. How gladly send the fog away. The Merchant The Merchant in the game is on top of the tower and sells some useful things. Next to Roasted Reds and Moonshine you can buy Quenchin Acid for upgrading a weapon or a tool which you can forge into your weapon. The usage of this tool is... I'm not gonna spoil you. Buy it and you will get something really cool. Did I miss something important? Let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video give it a like, for more subscribe and follow me on Twitch if you want to see more about Mortal Shell and the Souls games. Thanks for watching and goodbye.